In this video, we talk about the incredible tech design of the GMC Hummer EV pickup, which weighs 4.3 tons and has thrown us from 0 to 100 in 3.5 seconds. Hummer went out of business in 2009 but is now being reborn as a GMC sub-brand with a lineup of electric vehicles. The first member of the family is a pickup of colossal power, the GMC Hummer EV. There's more to reveal about this amazing tech automobile. But first, please like and subscribe to this channel and then sit back and relax. Electromobility is creating excesses that drivers and fans never dared to dream of. But the GMC Hummer EV is much more than a linguistic adjective as a 5.5 meter long electric pickup that weighs more than 4 tons. It makes a connection between the conflicting worlds of the exclusive military Hummer and the electrified future. The first surprising aspect of the new H Hummer is how short its development cycle was. More normal for a model facelift. In just two years, between the end of 2019 and in late 2021, General Motors managed to go from a blank sheet of paper to the start of productions at Hamtramck Factory Zero. An industrial facility with 40 years behind it has been completely renovated for the future line of GM electric vehicles after an investment of $2.2 billion. The Hummer pickup will be followed by more versions, such as the Hummer EV SUV arriving in early 2023 and about the same time. Longer than the electric GMC Denali, the usual Hummer in its waist, the old 7 inlet grille has been replaced with 6 illuminated blocks highlighted in chrome to unapologetically celebrate the Hummer name. Otherwise, the exterior shapes pick up where the last mass-produced Hummer left off with that box-on-wheels silhouette that AM General chose to apply to its military-inspired off-road vehicles in 1992, and which remained throughout. Different sizes after GM bought it 6 years later. It was until the combinations of growing public awareness against gas guzzling vehicles that the financial crisis at the end of the first decade of the third millennium crucified the Hummer, which is now back, purportedly cleansed and made into the first monster SUV electric of this new sub-brand that also aims to promote the uninteresting GMC, at least from a European point of view. The old TM electric platform is the technical basis of the Hummer EV that wins the first points by working on an 800-fold system on a charge, unlike what Ford uses in both the F-150 Lightning and the Mustang Mach-E, which have half of the voltage. The GMC Hummer also relies on a 400-fold system until it connects to a DC charger capable of sending power at 800 volts. To reach its full 350 kilowatt charging potential, the 400-fold relays within the unit open and the 800-fold relays close, converting batteries from series configurations to parallel operation. This doubles the voltage, allowing the pack to accept a higher amperage. But charging at 400 volts is also possible without the need for a converter. Fast Recharging Battery From the user perspective, this translates into less time to refuel. At this ultra-fast charging speed, it is possible to store power for 100 miles in just 12 minutes, while charging from 20 to 80% will take 42 minutes at an average of 175 kW. That's about twice as fast as a 150 kW charger. The two layers of 12 plus 12 modules of large pack cells, which can be installed horizontally or vertically depending on the applications and the vehicle, are stacked on the vehicle floor between the axles, integrating the vehicle structure and increasing its rigidity. Concern about the excessive use of rare earth metals, such a large battery need not be excessive, as Ultium batteries use an NCMA chemistry which has one of the highest nickel and one of the lowest cobalt contents in the industry. According to General Motors engineers, 70% less cobalt than the previous generations of GM EVs. Too much battery. But it's not all good news for Hummer when it comes to comparing numbers statically. The huge 208kWh lithium-ion battery provides a range of 530km when fully charged, something never before seen in a series production electric. But that seems little compared to the 505km that the Rivian's 135kWh battery pack promises and the 515km that Ford is capable of going with a much smaller 131kWh battery. Where does this considerable inefficiency come from? It's largely related to the sheer mass of the vehicle with the Hummer weighing in at a staggering 4.3 tons on the scale, which means it's much heavier than the rival of Ford and Rivian who are also far from being considered featherweights. And how did GMC turn this obese Hummer EV into its first high-performance SUV in three decades? Well, following the usual recipe used by electric vehicles, 
multiple motors and a gigantic torque sent instantly to all four wheels. In this case, we have a 250 kilowatt motor on the front axle with an electronic self-locking differential selectable by the driver capable of channeling the total torque exclusively to one of the two wheels if the other does not have grip and two more in the rear axle providing another 490 kilowatt or 660 horsepower with an impressive 1592 newton meter of torque. At the beginning of 2024, there will be a more modest version with one less engine at the rear. The rear motors are also capable of varying the torque distributions between the respective wheels and simulating the actions of a limited slip differential. With the intentions of not only optimizing off-road traction, but improving on-road driving dynamics. Independent Suspension The Hummer features four-wheel independent suspension and the architecture offers inherent advantages for off-road driving. With the locations of the battery contributing to a low center of gravity that promotes stability while the electric drive architecture eliminates many bulky components of the conventional off-road vehicle such as the drive shaft which favors ground clearance. It has 4x4 four four capabilities such as approach and departure angles that define the exterior design with very vertical body edges and short overhangs. Though it's fair to wonder how many future owners will risk using their $100,000 plus Hummer EVs for pure off-roading. The brakes use 355mm discs up front which seem modest to stop this mammoth, behind 22-inch wheels wrapped in 35-inch all-terrain tires. In combinations with the air suspension, they allow the Hummer to have a ground clearance of up to 40cm at speeds of up to 30km per hour. Its folding capability goes up to 810mm and four-wheeled steering is capable of turning the rear wheels by up to 10 degrees, decreasing the Hummer's turning circle from 13.5 to 11.3 meters, which is roughly equivalent, for example, to that of a BMW 3 Series, which is a much more compact car. It even has WTF mode. In a vehicle with the ability to go anywhere, like a Hummer, drive modes are important and there's plenty to choose from here. Each mode affects chassis response, suspensions, propulsions, and even the interior presentation. Normal, trailer, off-road, and terrain plus a configurable my mode are the main options, complemented by three submodes: WTF, crab walk, which rotates the front and rear wheels together so that the vehicle can move diagonally at low speeds to help extricate the Hummer for tricky 4x4 situations and putting on a show getting into or out of a parking space and extract which raises the vehicle 150mm higher than normal to its full height. Interestingly, there is no eco mode. GMC Hummer EV pickups is also one of a kind. The GMC Hummer EV pickup estimated average consumption is slightly below 40 kWh or 100 km, but any potential customer would be prepared to exceed this figure, even if off-road driving is not part of their daily routine. But only budgets without too many limitations should be interested in the revolutionary electric Hummer, whose starting price is $112,000 for this edition 1 launch version sold out in record time, by the way. And the name can be set for the more affordable $85,000 version with just two electric motors, one at each end. But that won't stop Europe's interest in importing some Hummer EVs for our roads, probably supplied by parallel distribution channels. In the end, being fully electric means that the European appeal will be greater than the gasoline versions of the past that also made their way to this side of the Atlantic. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like, the subscription button, and the notification bell. To get notified when new videos are uploaded from this channel, please share your thoughts about the GMC Hummer EV pickup tech design and its autonomy in the comment section below. Thank you.